Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Crimin Ollie, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, horror, I've got a review of Shiver by Junji Ito. So incredibly, uh, given how famous Junji Ito is and how old I am, it's the first book that I've read by him. Uh, so this was very kindly sent to me by Michelle from Michelle's Melancholia. Um, I will leave a link to her channel in the description for this. If you've not checked out her stuff, you definitely should. She does great reviews of, of horror fiction. Um, I did a video a while ago where I talked a little bit about my experiences in the past reading um, graphic novels and comics and things like that and how I was kind of looking to get back into it again. Um, and Michelle sent me this um, as a kind of taster of Junji Ito's work. Um, and I have to say, I absolutely loved it. Um, so this has got nine short stories in it um, from kind of across his career. They were um, chosen by him. So they are, you know, nine of his favourites. Um, and I thought they were all absolutely fantastic. Um, there's definitely a, you know, a real variety to the stories in here. And in fact, the first story um, was the one that I liked least. So that is um, about a kind of cursed record. So a record that um, when people listen to it, they get obsessed with it. Um, and there's various murders that happen as people, uh, you know, kind of try and get a hold of this record. Um, and that felt kind of a tiny bit pedestrian and not really quite what I was expecting. Um, but some of the other stories were fantastically weird. You can see this on the cover here, this guy with the holes in his face. One of the stories is about these people who develop these holes in their faces and, and creatures come out of them. Um, there's a really gross story um, about these people who drink cooking oil and then it oozes out of their skin. Um, there's a fantastic story about puppets. Um, so there's real variety here. And, and Ito's got a really fantastic imagination. Um, it's really not like anyone else I've read, I think. There's kind of shades of H.P. Lovecraft to an extent in terms of the um, the, the genius of him is kind of macabre imagination, but also the completeness of it. It feels, whilst all the stories in here are different, you almost feel like you are seeing uh, separate windows into the same strange, strange world. So there's a kind of consistency in the background to the stories that I thought was really impressive. Um, the other thing that's fantastic is, you know, this is... Um, reasonably long it's like 350 pages or so but it's not huge and there are nine stories in here and he manages you know in those in those stories which are relatively short to you know introduce the characters well um, to take you through um, you know what is happening to them to set up the scene to introduce the weird stuff um, and just layer and layer and layer until it gets creepier and creepier and creepier and then give you a um, you know a satisfying conclusion at the end of it um, which is quite a feat um, the other thing I would say is whilst Generally, when I, you know, when I have in the past read comics, I'm there for the writing, if you like, rather than the artwork. I do think um, his artwork is really quite fantastic. Uh, and I'm trying to find a, um, a picture that will not ruin things um, in any of the stories for you. But here we go. So here's one from the, the story about the puppets. So there's just something really chilling um, about his style. There's something absolutely eerie. Um, and a lot of the stuff, um, you know, you get these fairly pedestrian pages like this where, you know, just kind of normal everyday stuff is happening as he sets the scene and starts to build up the story. Um, and then you get, you know, something horrifically weird like that. And it really, you know, you turn the page and see that image and it, it shocks you. Um, so really incredibly effective stuff. Um, I'm definitely keen to read more Junji Ito um, based on this. I thought it was a, a wonderful collection. And as I say, there's a real variety to the stories here. There's there's kind of gross stuff. There's, there's not a great deal of graphic violence um, in the book. Most of it is more just kind of weird, eerie stuff. Um, there is, there's a, a final story, which is a new story, um, which is a lot shorter than the others. And that does have graphic violence. Um, but aside from that, most of the stories are much more about atmosphere and, you know, kind of uncanny weirdness um, than they are about violence. And, and that, I think, makes them all the more effective. Um, what's also really nice in this collection is you get a little um, bit of text after each story from Ito describing, you know, kind of the circumstances um, of when he wrote when, when he wrote that story, um, you know, his inspirations for it and things like that. So that was fascinating, too. And, and also he comes across in those as just like a real really nice guy completely at odds with the very very strange and disturbing um, stories that he writes um, so yeah a thoroughly enjoyable collection I definitely recommend it if you've never read Junji Ito as a, as a starter 
Uh, and I'm definitely going to read more of him. So uh, again, thank you very much, Michelle, for sending me this. Uh, I thought it was fantastic. Okay, time for a random book from the shelves. I thought I would pick something else Japanese today uh, to go with the Junji Ito. So this is The Devotion of Suspect X uh, by Kigo or Keigo Higashino, um, which is a fantastically uh, gripping suspense novel. Uh, it's got a fantastic mystery at the heart of it. I read this a couple of years ago and I really, really enjoyed it. And I've been meaning to pick up some more books by him, uh, which I haven't managed to do yet. But yeah, definitely recommend this if you like mysteries. So hope you enjoyed that. As always with my kind of main reviews each week, uh, there's a written review on my website, criminally.com as well, uh, which has got kind of more thoughts on the book as well as uh, details of the book and trigger warnings and things like that. Um, so do check that out uh, if that sounds interesting. Um, let me know if you've read Junji Ito. Let me know what you think of him. Um, and as always, thanks very much for watching. Hope you're safe and well out there. I hope you're reading good stuff and I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.